I first heard about Rising for Justice from Maggie O'Donnell, who's a co-chair of the pro bono program at Sacrament Spader and also a, a partner at our firm. I began working on the Civil Protection Order pilot program uh, with Amanda Torres, who is the director of that program. I run the Civil Protection Order project, which we lovingly called CPOP here. And in that um, project, I represent respondents in civil protection order and anti-stalking order uh, cases in the domestic violence division of the Superior Court. We are training pro bono attorneys not only in how to represent respondents, but also just in general litigation skills, so trial practice skills. And it's been really exciting to um, work with attorneys in that way. I had never really worked on a civil protection order case before. I didn't know anything about DC's laws around civil protection orders. Unfortunately, there's no right to counsel in these cases. And the majority of organizations that assist at all in the cases are for the petitioners, not the respondents. I do think that respondents in the CPO context can be misunderstood, and that's for a couple reasons. So first, in terms of the clients that Rising for Justice represents, these are indigent individuals, people with limited financial resources. And so that means they're being pulled into courts that are already going to be hostile to their interests from the get-go. Um, and I think beyond that, you know, there is, I think that every respondent in this context is entitled to a quality representation, a quality defense. And, you know, as we know, just because someone has been accused of something doesn't mean that they've done it. The respondents that we assist in CPOP are often wrongfully accused of committing crimes against loved ones. Um, in fact, in the most recent case that I worked with Alyssa on, uh, we represented a homeless person who was being targeted by someone who she met while um, she was homeless. It was really inspiring to get to work with Amanda on this. She was able to navigate this really, I think, skillfully, where we could talk to the client, we could advise her of what was going on, of her options in this scenario, and then also just advocate very strongly for that client's interests. So it was really impactful to be able to assist someone who really had no resources, no access to assistance, and made it even more rewarding and, and more motivating to, to make sure that we got a good result for her. I think Rising for Justice is a critical organization to not only the community at large in DC, but specifically to young attorneys here. It's a real way to develop skills, to get to help individuals get good outcomes in these cases where they're, they're facing a lot of barriers. Um, and it's really been a privilege and an honor to work with Rising for Justice on these cases. My name is Alyssa Howard, and I know that Rising for Justice changes lives of the people of DC and for young attorneys like me.